Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn the acoustic guitar parts so you can't always get what you want by the Rolling Stones. So we're just going to focus on the basic structure of the song, just the uh, basically the, the acoustic guitar parts that kind of lay the foundation of the song where there's lots of guitar solos and fills and stuff going all over the place for the entire song. So we're not really going to break those down. We're just going to do the actual, that main riff there you'll see in all the chords throughout the song as well too. So you can just do this with just like a singer songwriter style kind of a thing. All right. Um, so now first off, we are in a pretty different tuning than you might be used to. Now this tuning is called open E tuning. So if I take this capo off, what it basically means is if I strum the guitar, it's an E major chord already. Now, in order to do that, you have to change the tuning of three of the strings. Now, so basically we have the low E, so that's still an E, so it's normal. Now here, it would usually be the A string. We're gonna tune that up a whole step to B. And now for the D string, we're gonna do the same thing and tune that up a whole step. So it's gonna go from D up to an E. So it's just the octave of that low E. And then on the G string, we're gonna raise that a half step to G sharp. So we have those three strings that have been altered. Now the open B and the open E will stay the same. So we have three strings that are the same and then four, five, uh, over there, five, four, and three are altered. So you basically wanna make the guitar sound like if you were holding an E major chord and you're basically gonna tune those open strings up to those notes so you can just let go and you have an open tuning. Now once you get that, then you gotta use the capo and hold this across the eighth fret. So just clamp that down. Now you have a C major chord. All right, so I watched, you know, I've watched, you know, Keith Richards play this from like way back in the day when the song was released on there. I like TV programs and stuff. And he did something pretty similar. He uses this tuning with this capo and he just kind of messes around with it like we're gonna be doing today, but we're not gonna be doing those little lead fills. All right, so let's start with this main riff. All right, so what am I doing there? I'm starting with my, I'm gonna just say how many, I'm gonna say like this is the second fret, because it's the second fret above the capo, so consider this to be like zero now. So right here, two frets above the capo, we have that on the D string. Now I want you to pick that with the bottom two strings. Now what I'm doing here, I'm also muting the strings above it. Where I wanna mute that third string, I don't want that because that's the next melody note. So you want to have this, just those three strings. And then you're going to really pick the top three strings. And the melody note is the open G. So you really want the, that to come out. So we have this. And then, and then he just does that. So what I'm doing there is, holding down the two and then do to the open G there, melody note, with the top two strings with those. With those. And the last one, you're gonna really hear that open D string in there. So we have this, let me do it really slow. From there, we're gonna go into this. That's the second fret on the A open D, and then the first fret on the G. Those are the most important notes. You can hit the other strings, you just don't, don't go all the way down to the sixth, because you really want this to be the root note now. So we have this. Now he usually ends this with a little, little fill, which he varies every time. So it's pretty much, Hammer zero to two on the fifth string there. Open D and then play that third fret, I mean, it's the first fret there on the G string. Now 
now you can mix up that fill like we said before. So you just just kind of messing around with those notes is all you're doing. All right. Uh, now we have a, a different part of the song. Well, this actually goes into the same chord progression basically, uh, just with a chord, uh, just with full strum. So we're going to get to that, but leading into that, we have this little pre chorus. Alright, so what am I doing there? I'm going to bar basically around the, across the bottom three strings, two frets up, above from the capo on the fourth, fifth, and sixth string. But then we have this little fill, second fret on the low E there, second fret above the capo, then hammer zero two on the A string, and the open D. Then jump down to that same chord we did earlier. So we have this. And there's usually a fill when you're leaving that to go into the into the chorus. So the chorus, pretty easy. You get the strum all the strings there, uh, just open. And then you're gonna hold now, this the same as the chord we did before, except we're adding the second fret there above the capo on the B string. Just rotate between those two chords. This is the chorus of the song. So there'll be little fills there. And once again, it ends with that same. So when it goes back to the verse, you go back to that main riff. kind of fun just kind of mess around with the chords a little bit like that and that's the whole foundation of the song those are really the only parts you're going to see in the song there's a little instrumental thing done in, in the little song that doesn't have any guitar uh, but it's very quick it only lasts about 10 seconds if that uh, but then we're back to the same the main riff underneath the verse and then those two chords for the chorus and then that little pre-chorus all right, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.